Mom, you're gonna say this is gross. <laughs> Good morning. So, got the boat loaded up. We're headed to Arkansas, fellas, ladies. I'm uh, going to pick up a coworker. Actually, going down there for work, but we decided we're going to bring the boat with. I got a couple days to spare, so we're going fishing in Arkansas. And. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring you along. We're gonna use some of those uh, good old mystery tackle box lures. It's actually getting pretty chilly. Fall time's hit here. It's 50 degrees this morning. It's 46 when I woke up at six o'clock. But uh, yeah, let's get this show on the road. Stay tuned. Good morning. So we're in Arkansas. It's early. It's about 6.30. Got in pretty late last night and got held up with traffic and uh, some weather and steak and shake. Took us an hour at steak and shake to get a sandwich for lunch yesterday. But uh, we are here. I'm headed to uh, go get my fishing license for the week. And then we're going to go we're gonna go do some fishing. Good morning beautiful morning. we are on the water a little late it's eight o'clock the sun's just up over the clouds so we actually got some daylight now i have no idea what this lake fishes or how it fishes i've never been on it so we usually take a trip to teal point um i'm sorry norfolk lake and uh, we, we fished down there in Norfolk for, in Arkansas for uh, a week. So I kind of know that lake pretty well. But this time I'm down here for a week. Uh, we're doing, I'm, I'm actually supposed to be working, but I'm got a couple days of not doing anything. So I brought the, uh, the boat down with. And uh, now we're on Lake Dardanelle. And like I said, I, I have never fished this lake. I have no idea where to even start. So I'm going to go with my maps here and just kind of do some gandering and uh, see what we can find. Probably just going to go right up on some brush and start throwing around it maybe a little bit or uh, it's still early so probably going to throw around the brush. Or some lily pads like find them. I know there's some in here. I've seen them as I've been driving over. Look at that. Such a beautiful morning. Just gorgeous out here. So about nine foot of water. I want to see in about 10 to 13, 15 in this area. It's pretty shallow. Uh, water temp is 76 degrees. Outside temp is 55 degrees. Yeah. Let's go see if we can find some fish. All right. We're here. I'm gonna start out throwing a little top water and just see what happens. I don't see anything working the top this morning. There's lots of activity down there. Well, 
Best way to start out a day. Nothing like a good backlash. We're about 20 foot of water. I don't know what it is close to the shallow, but or sh close to the shore. Which 20 foot seems like a, it looks like there's a lot of a lot of something down there. I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of something. So this is a cooling water lake too, and. Uh, I'm very surprised that it's only 78 degrees. Normally it's, oh, don't do that. Normally it's, um, these cooling waters are very, uh, very warm. This has got a steep drop off. This is still 18 foot. All right, so top water's not working. So Let's see what we got in the good old mystery tackle box here. Now this was the box that I was gonna give away. I apologize that I didn't because I didn't hit his 100 subscribers, but that's okay, we'll get there. So I could try out the good old, look at the fish hitting right here on top of the water. As soon as, I, as, soon as I'm not done, you gotta be kidding me. Um, so I could try out the good old, uh, uh, shoot, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> the good cheddar bait, that's what it is. I could try that out. I think I'm going to, actually. I haven't ever used one of these. Somebody said they're awesome. Find my trash can here. Let's see if the good old chatterbait is the key. That ain't too bad, huh? Let's give this a go. Let's see what try to see what it looks like going through the water. Oh man, look! I think I tied it in the right spot. It's looking delicious. Oh boy, that's a heavy. Oh, it's kind of staying towards the top though. I thought these were supposed to sink. It's actually coming up. Very interesting. Well, let's see if this will catch some fish. Oh, that's a heavy. I feel like I got too small of a rod on. No, let me let, let me know in the comments, guys, if this is this is supposed to be uh, 
going to the bottom because when I'm cranking on it here, she's coming up. So look at the fish right there. Let me know in the comments. I, I've never used a chatterbait. I don't know. I'm just going to throw this thing and hope for the best. But uh, it's coming up to the surface and it's wanting to ride the surface. So, I mean, is that the trick of it? You kind of short little bursts, I guess you want to call it. And just kind of. I don't know. All right, so as the sun's kind of coming up, I have noticed that the water is very dirty, very murky. Can't see very far into it. So I think that light colored chatter bait was a little, uh, I think we needed to switch it up to a darker color. So I'm gonna go over to this rock wall and we're gonna do a little flipping with uh, just a football jig and a little uh, Guggen bait crack and crawl trailer. And we'll see how that works. There's a lot of top water action now. The luck this morning is not good. I don't know. I uh, fished a bunch of grassy area. And I'm thinking maybe that's not the key. Uh, like I said, I don't know this lake, so uh, I'm not sure exactly where everything is. So, and I'm just kind of learning it today. But I'm going to look up the fishing report here. As of October 2nd, cooler weather appears on the way. The big lakes are about to turn over and fish is about to take off. And your reporters say, okay. So fishing, that report doesn't tell you much. Lots of cool pictures of good bass, but. All right, so maybe this one will do a little better. Let's see here. A weekend, or now surface temperature is 84 degrees. I'm showing 79 right here. As of Tuesday, October 1st. That doesn't really tell you much either. It just says fishing is good. Which, all right, uh, here's a little something. So Lake Donner State continues to host tournaments every weekend this fall. Reports from anglers are that the bass have been biting on soft plastics, jigs, buzz baits. Bait fish are there for fish to prey on. So mimicking shad may be a good start. We have observed small Another small mayfly hatch in the recent days. Yellow bass, channel catfish had been biting on worms. The fall tournament season well underway at the state park. So I've used a couple uh, soft plastics, but maybe we'll go, maybe I'll take a cruise around the lake here and we'll look for uh, maybe a, instead of this grassy stuff, maybe we'll look at, um, you know what? I got some grassy stuff right here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw I don't know, uh, a worm or uh, just a slim shake or drop shot. I'm gonna throw something like that, see what happens around this grass. And if I don't get anything within you know a couple hundred yards of trolling, I'm gonna we're gonna make a move to see if we can't find like a uh, rocky edge or or a point that's got some good rocks on it. So hopefully we catch something. Tighten the drag up a little bit here though. Oh man, he's coming right towards me. Oh, it came off. Son of a. So excited. 
finally got my first bite. It's only, I don't know, noon. I've been out here since nine and just cannot get on them. Son of a gun, my drag was a little, a little loose there. I don't think I got a good hook set. Son of a gun. It's like the actual first bite I've had all day. I've tried a little of everything. I've thrown little rubber shad, little swim bait shads. This is what I'm using right now. Little crankbait. I've used uh, Cinco's, uh, Slim Shakes, just a bunch of plastic worms. I've used, uh, let's see, a couple lipless crankbaits. I've thrown a couple spoons. Damn, I can't believe I missed them. Makes me mad. It's the first fish I've had hooked up all day. Oh. And I missed him. I think I just had another bite, but I was playing with the under the trolling motor. I shouldn't cuss. I was afraid of that too, like I've had the camera shut off the whole time. And I was afraid that as soon as I'd actually get hooked up on the one, I'd get all tangled up in trying to start the camera. And I did. Go figure. Got to figure out what they're biting on because I got a guy I came down here with that's going to come out after he gets done with his training. But it's going to be a long day if we can't, if I can't catch nothing. It's beautiful out today though. Oh, I seen him flash. I seen something flash. Hopping. Something's hitting the surface.
So today, it's 2.21 right now and has been a complete bust. I don't know what the deal is, but I have no, I, I'm marking for some fish. Oh, there's, look at that. I assume that's some bait fish. There's gotta be fish around it. I've been seeing some popping on top of the water a little bit. I know it's in the afternoon, but I was here at eight o'clock. Maybe it might've been a little late because I didn't quite get on right at, right, right at dark. Uh, but still, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm uh, a little lost right now. So I'm gonna pack it in for today. Or no, not today. I'm gonna pack it in for this afternoon. I'm gonna go back. I got some maintenance I need to do. On the boat, I want to clean it up a little bit and then uh, get get situated in my hotel a little bit. And then um, I got to pick up a feller from, from training. And then if it's not too late when he gets out of that, which I don't think it will be, we will be back out again this afternoon, this evening, hopefully to catch that evening bite. But uh, cross your fingers. See you in a few.